How could Saitama defeat an opponent who was immune to his punches? I don't know. Kick, probably. What about someone like Obito from Naruto? That could end in one of two ways. The first is that Obito retreats to his own dimension and the fight ends in a stalemate or the Saitama speed blitzes him before Obito is able to react. I don't know if anybody realized it, but Saitama punches don't follow the rules. He's literally able to touch things that you're not able to touch physically. His his punches don't follow the rules. So even if you brought in somebody who are immune to physical attacks, Saitama punches were just freaking bypass it. The work of fiction doesn't literally say his punches are special, but you can see from clear observation of how Saitama is able to knock and enter intangible dimensions and how he Saitama is literally able to grab wormholes, which are also intangible. His strength doesn't follow the rules. So even if you brawl against somebody who are immune to Saitama punches, Saitama power just wouldn't give a fuck. And that's the simple way of putting it. And as for Obito, like I said, it doesn't matter if Obito use his intangible shotting guy eye ability. Saitama can literally grab the intangible, so that would give Obito absolutely no advantage at all. Even if Obito escaped into his other dimension, Saitama can literally hear people speaking in completely different dimensions, which is... Pretty fucking unfair, but Saitama is one of those type of gag characters. It, it is what it freaking is. So, yeah, Saitama punches would just bypass the immunity because his punches, his power just doesn't give a flying fuck. The boring answer is, it's because he's made this way. But the more exciting answer is, well... Look at what he's done in his actual work of fiction. So, yeah, I hope that answered the question.